Greetings dear friends, I present your attention to most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Mazda 3BL. Like any decent front-wheel drive car, the Mazda 3BL's transmission is as simple and reliable as possible. Actually, there is absolutely nothing to break, the shafts are reliable, the CV joints too, especially if you take a little care of the safety of the covers, which are prone to cracking in the cold. The main thing is to notice and replace in time. After 50,000 runs, it is worth getting into the habit of checking the play of the intermediate shaft bearing on machines with 1.6 liter engine at each maintenance. It is somewhat weak here, the support is short and heats up, and oil is squeezed out of the bearing. On machines with more powerful engines, the problem either doesn't occur or there are simply few such machines, and there is no mention of such a problem. With manual transmission there is also almost no hassle. Complaints mainly relate to the operation of the clutch hydraulic release. Traditionally we rarely change the brake fluid and moreover do not pump the clutch. And this reduces the resource of both the main and working cylinders. After 150 to 100,000, the operation of the switching mechanism is already beginning to deliver outright discomfort. Almost always the bolt joint of the gear shaft lever is loosened, the cables begin to turn over due to lack of lubrication. As a result, the lever becomes tighter, but the gears have to be cropped. At about the same mileage, active drivers begin to show wear on the second or third gear synchronizers. At the same time, the clutch resource can be quite large, even with tough operation. It is not uncommon when on cars with a 1.6 liter engine it passes more than 100,000. On European cars with a 1.6 liter engine, there is an old and familiar automatic transmission. The same 4 speed box was installed on the previous generation. 4F27E, aka FN4AEL, worked well on Ford and Mazda, although it works on Japanese cars in much more severe conditions. Keep this in mind when choosing a contract unit. If we are not talking about buying a real contractor, then it is better to take a machine gun with a focus than with a Matroshka. The box is undoubtedly reliable and with careful operation is quite resourceful. With a good driver it can cover more than 300,000 km before the first major repairs. It may be necessary to replace the gas turbine lock, pads and the back cover earlier. But for those who actively regularly press the gas pedal, the risk of wear on the overdrive and reverse packages increases dramatically, and replacing the clutches will not help for a long time. The pressure in the packages drops due to wear on the reverse drum seals and the rear cover. Mazda's automatic transmission settings made it too easy to overload this node, and drivers easily take advantage of it. As a result, the number of cars with the box in good condition after a run of 120-150 thousand is small. Most owners, to one degree or another, have problems in the form of jolts when shifting from first gear to second, hitting when reversing or fourth gear. Differential noise and axle play are also fairly typical problems on racing cars. Fortunately, this box was no longer installed with 2-liter engines in this generation of Matroshkas and the problem began to occur much less frequently than with its predecessor. The problem of switching from first to second is often temporarily solved by replacing the automatic transmission brake band tension bolt, since this is done without disassembling the automatic transmission. The length range of the adjusting bolt is from 35 to approximately 38 mm in 0.5 mm increments. Usually it is enough to install a bolt with a length of 0.5 mm longer than it was before. Unfortunately, such an independent repair can often bring a negative result, since the cause of jerks can be far from one. In the case of busting with tension and complete wear of the brake band, it is recommended to install a reinforced part since there is one. It runs over 250,000, the line pressure solenoid and two identical switching solenoids almost always require replacement. This is practically independent of driving style, but with a rare oil change and urban operation, the resource of these parts will be less. This automatic transmission is not only quite reliable, but also inexpensive to repair and easy to diagnose. The fact that it can be sorted out without removing it from the car is more important for self-repair and increases the number of low-scaled interventions, which is not always good. The 5-speed FS 5AEL 5F 27E relied only on 2.0 and 2.5 liter engines. In fact, this is the same 4-speed automatic transmission and even the weak points are the same. The overdrive drum and the rear cover still fails first and due to the greater power of the motors, the drum ends already with almost any driving style, except for the frankly vegetable one. Their resource is expectedly less than that of 4-speed automatic transmissions and usually doesn't exceed 200-250 thousand before the first repairs. Replacing the rear cover and brake band or tightening it may be needed even earlier. 
the overdrive drum is also loaded more than a 4-speed gearbox and its breakdowns are very common, especially on the Americans with 2.5-liter engines. In addition, the box is more sensitive to oil contamination. The well body with two linear pressure solenoids and partial blocking of the gas turbine engine burst out quickly when operating on dirty and hot oil. Therefore, a more powerful box radiator and the removal of the heat exchanger are already strongly recommended. Nothing has changed in the list of engines compared to the previous generation. The 1.6 Z6 engines are the same, the 2 liter MZR LF are all the same. The new 2.5 liter engine belongs to the MZR L5 series, which is a further development of the MZR block, but with both intake and exhaust phase shifters and a balancer shaft unit. All motors are very resourceful, with dry cast iron sleeves in an aluminum block for MZR motors and cast iron for 1.6. The timing drive as usual with Mazda as chain. Weak points are common to all motors. The cooling system needs attention, especially on older cars. The sandwich of the radiators is easily contaminated. And there is not even a dial temperature indicator on the dashboard, which would warn in advance of the danger. Catalysts do not lack winter starts and traditionally easily dust during wear, damaging the piston group. Their condition must be periodically checked after 100-150,000 mileage. Motor electronics are sensitive to the quality of service. Connectors break easily, insulation is too fragile, corrugations are too weak. Lambda sensors are very sensitive to the quality of gasoline and the warm-up mode. Ignition modules or spark plugs need to be checked at least once every 30,000 km to maintain stable operation of engines and catalyst life. 1.6 liter engines are considered the most reliable. It is not surprising, because their design is the simplest, with only one phase shifter, without unnecessary heat exchangers and similar excesses. Dirty intake, Zauber EGR, dirty throttle – these are, in fact, all the main problems of the engine. The chain will pass at least 120,000 km and for the nit people, twice as much. There are no hydraulic lifters, you only need to control the valve clearances once every 60,000. They are just their adjustment is carried out by caps with a calibrated thickness. The parts are inexpensive, the design is logical and simple, because the design of the block goes back to the B-series motors, which have been produced since 1985. Not surprisingly, this motor is the most common on this generation. If the motor was monitored at least just normally, then a resource of 250-300 thousand is provided to it. The control system is somewhat capricious after 100-150 thousand mileage. Lambdas, throttle and sensors need to be monitored and, at the first sign of improper operation, increased consumption, uneven operation and poor starting, components should be changed, sparing no expense for new ones. Motors 2 and 2.5 liters are noticeably different from the Yonner 1.6. Moreover, the 2.3 liter 3 engine and its turbocharged version on the MPS are assembled in the same block and are structurally close, differing only in the design of the cylinder head and the power system on machines with direct injection. The main design features they have in common. Block aluminum with cast iron sleeves, keyless chain timing. There is a lot of plastic in the design, the entire intake and most of the cooling system. The motor is very cheap in design and at the same time the resource of its atmospheric versions is more than satisfactory. With proper maintenance, runs over 300 are a common thing. True, there are enough small and not very troubles with the age engines of this series. The intake manifold with flaps must be checked for leaks, especially during overheating, and the flaps in it for operability. The thermostat is of an unsuccessful design, prone to wedging in the closed position, which of course is very bad. The phase shifter clutches have a noticeably shorter resource than the timing chain and dampers, and after 120-150 thousand mileage, they can knock not only during a cold start but also on a hot one. The chain tensioner usually withstands the same amount. There are at least a few other weak points in the cooling system. The heat exchanger under the oil filter, the LF941517Z pipe housing, which after 50,000 mileage can surprise, and the automatic transmission heat exchanger in the radiator, which should be regularly checked for pipe leaks. It should be turned off in time or simply replaced in advance with an additional external radiator of the box. All leaks through the cylinder head cover, camshaft plugs and oil seals are commonplace after hundreds of thousands of runs. Nevertheless, a naturally inspired 2-liter engine can go half a million kilometers or more in good hands without replacing the piston group and even repairing the cylinder head. Turbocharged engines are not up to the task. For them, a resource of more than 200,000 kilometers is already huge, but for well-forced units, this is a worthy result. 
Moreover, these motors have almost no problems with linear valves and premature coking of pistons. As you can imagine, you will have to pay for more power and higher maintenance costs. But this is not in vain. The resource of this engine is now less than that of the old cast iron and the power is noticeably greater. Atmospheric 2 and 2.5 liter cannot be afraid for sure. Well, if you suddenly found the rarest European MPS in this body, you are unlikely to think about the resource. The traditionally indicated minus in the form of a lack of repair dimensions and the availability of short blocks for sale is not so terrible. The piston group on gasoline engines doesn't wear out too much. If there are no power problems and the mileage is low, then damaged piston can simply be replaced. Separately, pistons of several size groups are on sale. The sleeve can be bored out for existing non-original piston groups. These are commercially available or replaced. The price of a shot block against the backdrop of the cost of a new piston and work is not too high. Diesel engines are rare in Russia. On the three trouble node are PSA engines, well known from Ford cars. They are far from ideal, with not too much resource overloaded crankshaft liners and piston burnouts. Nevertheless, they are quite popular and in demand in Europe. We fortunately do not find cars with them for sale. This completes the information about the problems on the Mazda 3BL. If you know more or disagree with what you heard, I am waiting for you in the comments.